Okay, 240 tokens for the guitar. Here we go. You did it! Well, 40 tokens is a start. Oh, I wonder, if all six of you had 40 tokens each and joined them together, then could you afford it? Six times 40. Oh, so that's the same as six times four times ten. And I can multiply by four. That's the same as doubling and then doubling again. And to multiply by ten, I know I just need to add a zero to the end. Uh-oh. How do you plan to divide it up? I was thinking more like taking it in turns. Oh, do you wish you had more balloons? You know, you have four balloons there. If we multiplied that by ten, you'd have forty. Because to multiply anything by ten, you just move the number one place to the left and put a zero in the gap. Or to multiply 4 by 100, you move the 4 two places to the left, add the zeros to the 1s and 10s columns, and that'd give you 400. Of course, division is just the opposite. To divide by 10, we take away a zero. And to divide 400 by 100, move all the digits two places to the right. You know what's interesting though? If you multiply any number by 1, it stays the same. And if you multiply any number by 0, no, 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 no. you get 0. Ah! Useful, right? Yippee! A pattern or sequence is a set of numbers that are connected in some way. And the numbers in the sequence are called terms. All sequences have a rule. The numbers could count on by three each time, or the numbers could be doubled each time. Take this sequence. The terms count on by a changing number. In this case, the number changes by an extra one each time. Some sequences are easier to figure out than others, but as soon as you spot the rule, you can work out the pattern. What's wrong? Do you think you might have been shortchanged? <coughs> How did you know we'd given you the wrong change? <laughs> oh yeah, let's see your problem solving strategy then. So you highlighted the important information first. You bought 12 hands and they were 60 pence each. And you paid with a £20 note. So 12 hands at 60 pence, that's 720 pence. That would be easier if we knew the answer in pounds, not pence. We divide by 100 to get £7.20. And to work out how much change you should have got, £7.20 subtracted from £20 is £12.80. I was right behind you. So how much change did it give you? Oh. Partitioning is a useful way of breaking big numbers up into smaller pieces, so they're easier to work with. Isn't that right, guys? Take the number 23. Let's break it down. Not like that. Like this. You can think of 23 as one big 20 and a little 3. Or how about we split that another way? Into a 10 and a 13. Together, they also make 23. We can break up even bigger numbers too, like, say, 746. Incoming! And look at what we have. One big 700, 140, and a 6. 746. Partitioning means you can split numbers apart, like into ones, tens, and even hundreds. This breaks down big numbers when adding and subtracting and doing other fiddly maths problems. Uh oh, guys, time to split. 
Ha, <laughs> ha,